Today I'm going to show you how to play Xbox 360 games on your computer by using an emulator called Xenia. This video will help you with initial setup, controller support, and Playnight integration. This method also works with all versions of Xenia. Now, before we begin, I do need to make something clear that Xenia is a research emulator and a lot of games are really buggy. The main examples I know of are pretty much all the FIFA games. If you run anything past FIFA 10, the players and the pitch aren't visible, it's all pitch black. And if you run FIFA 10, the game bugs out and like the movement, you can't move, the players can't touch the ball, and it's actually really quite funny. Now, if you have different games to play in mind, then I think it would be a good idea for you to watch this video so I can show you how to set up everything normally. And the newest version of Xenia doesn't really have the same files and editing of uh, settings uh, in the past, but the initial setup, and if you've got a good enough system, you shouldn't really need to be changing any of those settings. Now the first thing you're going to need is something called a ROM. And ROM stands for read-only memory, but it's what's actually on the Xbox 360 disc. Now there's two ways you can do it. You can extract a ROM from your uh, an existing disc that you actually own, or if you don't have that and you are willing to continue for free, what you can do is you can uh, you can pirate the game itself. Obviously, legally, it's it's not very legal, and it's not actually safe because there's a chance for malware but if I was you I'm not going to show you a website to do this but I just look up safest places to download Xbox 360 ROMs and if you find a website that you believe is safe to download the ROM from there now the ROM will be in two formats either of an actual ROM file or it will be an XEX file which is specifically for Xenia and once you have those files then you're going to be able to continue so, as you can see, I am now in my file explorer and I've got three files here. The first file I've got is, a, well it's not a file, it's a folder, is something that says x360c underscore time 64 and I'll leave the link to this in the description. And this is how we're going to set up controller support. You need the specific one I've got because no versions, I didn't figure out how to use them. We've got uh, the actual Xenia Master download. I chose to download Xenia Master and I've got the link in the description for this website where you can just select Master Download. Or it's work the exact same process if you want to use Xenia Canary, you can run this. Now the difference between Xenia Master and Xenia Canary is Xenia Master is, as not, as Xenia Master is stable but it doesn't have features that Xenia Canary does because Xenia Canary is, uh, it says right there, experimental and in games like Fable 2, Xenia Master, the floor's not there, but in Canary the floor is there, for, just for an example. And then finally I've got an ISO file, so that's the actual uh, ending to a ROM. I should have, should have mentioned that, so uh, it's not a XEX, it's an ISO, and that's the file we're actually going to be running. So once you've downloaded Xenia Master, you'll have a little folder like this, and to simply run your game, you just want to double click Xenia.exe, file, open, and run the file that is your emulator, that, that's your ROM, and it runs really easily on your emulator like this. And now I'm going to show you how to set up the controller. Now I've already done a video on how to set up controller support for Xenia, but I'm going to quickly do an overview on how to do it here as well, just not as in detail, so uh, shorter. Now basically the controls that you get for your keyboard default aren't very good and if you have an Xbox 360 controller or a PS4 controller then you can set it up so it's like you're playing on a console. Now um, you're going to need an Xbox controller or a controller that tricks your computer into thinking it's an Xbox controller because it, Xbox is owned by Microsoft, Windows is owned by Microsoft, you know, that's how it works. And then you're going to need to have this. Now the problem with this is that it's an old version, so it kind of relies on you having the correct controller layout. You're not going to be able to change it, I don't think. I haven't figured out how to do that. 
and it's an older version. I'll have the link in the description. I'm not sure how to use the newer version. So you're going to want to run it. So start it off and it will come up with this pop up. Press create and cancel on both of these. The, press OK to both of those. That doesn't matter. Press controller one, select auto, yes. And this will set up automatically. If you select game controllers, select on your controller and press properties, you'll see that uh, my controller is showing up. Just press, you know, OK out of those. Then press save. And then you can close it. You'll have a file that says x input one underscore three dot dll. You're going to want to create a new one, but rename it to x input one underscore four. And then move that into the directory or the folder where Xenia is. Then run Xenia as normal. And the only difference now is that the controller will or should work for it. I, uh, in the last video, I had a comment saying that it didn't work, but that guy managed to fix it, so it shouldn't be an issue. And if I press my start button, it works. Sound isn't working on this for some reason, I don't think. But whatever, it works. Finally, I'm going to show you how to set up Play Night integration so that Play Night is the game manager and uh, puts all your game libraries together and so that when you press play, it will open an emulated uh, game through Xenia so you can just have all your emulated games there as well. So I have my Play Night open here. As you can see, I've got Fable 2, Xbox 360 game. I've also got Prince of Persia. It's technically a PC game and an Xbox 360 game, but I've didn't have them, the PC version. I've got the Xbox, 3 ver the Xbox 360 version as an actual disc, so it was just easier to set this up like this and and free. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to actually set that up. Now the first thing you want to do is select your menu, so you'll have add game, library, update game library, all that sort of stuff. So you want to hover over library and select configure emulators. And so I have a list of all my emulators here. You might not, but I do. I have all my emulators here. Because uh, you, you won't, if you haven't set up any emulators, none will be here. So you want to press the import button, scan folder, sorry, I'll take that, scan folder, select Xenia Master or Xenia Canary or whatever folder you're saving, and select the folder, press import. Now, as you can see here, it's imported. Right, uh, right here. And you can change the name, so I'll call it Video or Tutorial Xenia. And just press Save. And now you've got um, uh, your emulator actually in in uh, Play Night. And then what you're going to have to do is press the menu again. Add Game. Emulated Game. Add Scanner. Select your... Um, Select your emulator, so it's a scan with emulator, drop down box, your emulator name, profile, default, scan folder, select the little folder icon here, select the folder which has your uh, game in, select the folder, and start scan. Now this will take a while, so I'll just fast forward this, and I'll come back once it's done scanning. Now, as you can see, it's done scanning. Now, for some reason, I've got a license here with mine. Not sure what that is. I'm just going to untick that because you don't want to actually add that to your uh, play night. And so here is where you're going to put in the name of your game. I'm just going to do Prince of Persia pop because I've already imported Prince of Persia, as you can see in the background. And select platforms, whatever you want. I've got Microsoft Xbox 360. And then just press import. Scroll down to Haven't Played, and you'll see here, Prince of Persia. If you press play, it'll open Xenia, and it'll open the game. When you exit out of it, it'll reopen Play Night. Now, obviously, if you... It's not very nice looking, so uh, completely optional. Just press the little um, edit symbol, go to media, and what you'll see is there's uh, little Google Images. 
tab on all of these. So you've got icon, cover image, background image. So what I do is I just, I'd set that. Now obviously it's not going to be Prince of Persia because, well, I haven't got Prince of Persia typed out. So I'll just do these random ones. As uh, just, you know, because why not? And then press save. Ah, oh, look at that. Doesn't look a lot nicer, but if you get it right, this is how my Prince Persia actually looks. It looks pretty nice. So with that, you are completely done. I hope this helped you in however you were looking for this video to help you. And, well, I might make another tutorial, I might make another video, I might do whatever, but, um, see ya.